Hey everyone, it's Keith with the Tulsa Moto Club, and today we're going to get started on making a seat for the SR250 build. So as you already know, I'm doing a cafe racer build for this SR. The goal here is to make a seat that has the little hump in the back, better known as the cowl that you see on all the other cafe racers. I'm going to attempt to make the seat out of fiberglass, but I, however, have actually never worked with fiberglass before, so I'm going to be figuring it out as I go. Now before we get deep into the process of everything, let's go over the tools and supplies that I'm going to use for this project. Now as you'll see in a few different shots, I also use a couple different tools and supplies. I didn't originally plan on using these, I just ended up switching to them along the road somewhere. Either way, I'm sure it's already something that you have lying around your shop, as did I. So getting started, the first thing I did, and this is not necessary, but I removed the rust on the frame. Some surface rust had appeared since I modified it, and I just wanted to take care of that and get it nice and cleaned up. I removed the electrics tray and started by just using my power drill and a wire brush. Now this did the job just fine, however, my drill died shortly after getting started. So I opted for the trusty angle grinder. Now that that rust is all taken care of and everything is all cleaned up, it's time to throw the tank back on and get started on the mold for the seat. Next I cut a piece of cardboard to fit the frame of the motorcycle. I used some spray adhesive and glued these foam blocks to the cardboard. This is what I'm going to use to shape the cowl on the seat pan. Once everything was dry, I sketched up the shape of the cowl that I wanted and started shaping it. Unfortunately, while I was carving away at the foam, my camera battery died. I didn't want to quit working, so I just continued on and finished up everything. Once everything was all shaped up, I went ahead and wrapped everything in plastic wrap, gaff tape, and masking tape. It's probably overkill, but oh well. The final thing that I want to do for the mold is add in this plastic tubing. My hope is that it'll clean up the finished look, as well as provide a little bit of depth to make sure that the upholstery looks nice and tidy when it's put in. So the mold is made and that's actually where I'm going to end today's video. In the next video, we're going to start laying the fiberglass down and actually get the seat pan made. Keep in mind, like I said before, I've never actually worked with fiberglass and this whole process is new to me. With that said, I know that I'm probably doing something wrong and I'm sure that it's not going to turn out perfect the first try either, but you're never going to get better at something unless you just try in the first place. If you want more education on how to build a cafe racer seat, I would suggest checking out Cafe Racer Garage's video and a couple of videos from Dime City Cycles. I'll be sure to link them down in the description below. If you like this video though, make sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions about this or have any advice on working with fiberglass or making seats in general, make sure to hit me down in the comments below. And if you want more daily content from Tulsa Moto Club, I'll be sure to link all the other social medias and the website down below as well. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on the next part of this seat build or any other future videos that I put out. Speaking of that, here are a couple other videos I think you might enjoy in the meantime. As always, thanks for watching. Later.